Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem count the parts. In this problem we are given a directed that means it has a direction. We can't vis visit it both ways. This is an undirected graph. We can, suppose we are having an undirected graph. So we can visit from A to B as well as from B to A. But this is a directed graph where we can only visit from A to B not from B to A. This is the and a cyclic means that it doesn't contain any cycles okay like a to b then b to c and again this won't be the scenario okay with n nodes labeled from 0 to n minus 1 that means it is zero indexed okay we are given a source and a destination and a directed a cyclic path and we need to count the number of ways we can reach from s to d and we are told the graph is like this that the first one is the source and the next one is the destination like this what do i mean by this that means that this is u and this is v so we have an edge from u to v 0 to 1 this is what is given now let us try to solve the first sample test case in the given sample test case we are told that we have an edge from 0 to 1 okay so we have an edge from 0 to 1 then we also have an edge from 0 to 3 so 0 to 1 okay then 0 to 3 and then from 1 to 2 and then from 3 to 2 itself fair enough so now in how many ways we can visit from 0 to 2 itself so we can visit 0 to 2 by using this path okay 0 to 1 and then from 0 to 3 and then from 1 to 2 and then from 3 to 2 then the next way we can visit this is 0 3 and 2 so the first path contains from 0 then we would go to 1 and then we would go to 2 and then the next path is 0 then we go to 3 and then we go to 2 itself these are the two paths that we can visit to. so now to solve this we need to just count the number of ways to count the number of ways we need to traverse all possible ways and each time we are able to reach the destination we would add plus 1 to the answer so we just need to explore all possible ways the ways which lead us to the destination would count us in the form of answer and that would be this. So we can say that we went from 0 till 1 then 2. So we reached a destination so we would add 1 to the answer. Initially we had 0. Then we would go to 0 to 3 and then we go to 2. So we would add 1 more to the answer that is why the answer to this is 2. So simply we can explore all possible ways. So if we are told that we need to explore all possible ways then that means that we need to use recursion wherever we come across this thing that we need to explore everything we should come across recursion okay so now we would solve it using recursion so now to divide a recursive formula we need to fix the parameters we need to return the rent so what are the things we need to do we need to decide the return type then we need to decide the parameters then we need to decide the base function and then the intermediate case okay so return type return type would be very simple that we need to just return the count of the numbers so we can just return it in the form of int so now let's see about the base case the base case would so base case we should visualize the smallest valid case that we can solve it by our ourselves the smallest valid case we, we can solve our yourself is when source is equal to destination that we are standing on, on only the same position so this is my source this is my destination in that scenario our answer would be just one so if s is equals to equals to direct destination then we would return one okay so now intermediate case 
is a little bit simple that from the particular source we would visit all its neighbors okay so we would just traverse the neighbors so traverse the neighbors and add the answer talking about the parameters what are the things we require we require the source okay because to come to go from particular source to the next point so we require the source we need to we need the destination to know that we have reached the destination or not so we would require the destination and that's it we can just build up the graph we can declare it in the global so that we don't need to pass it every time and that's done so now we would move forward to the answer thing so now here what we would do is we would declare a global so we are told that we are having 15 so we would just declare the here like this only like vector of int of g of 15 the highest value to, so that every test case can run then we would have answer variable here itself okay why because we would just use the simple dfs thing and in dfs we are more accustomed to you having that wired thing and we have already discussed the return type end so let's go with the classical way of implementing dfs the simple void one the void dfs simple depth first search and then we would have the source and we would have the destination and in the base case we would say that if source is equals to equals to destination if source is equals to equals to destination then we would simply increment the answer that there is only one way and we would return from this point then we don't need to process forward now the next thing what we need to do is we were going in to traverse all the neighbors to traverse all the neighbors what we can do is for auto e dash g of this particular s e would be the neighbors so now we would just do dfs of e and the destination would remain the same now we just need to build the graph here and then pass it on okay so every time what we would do is we would reset the values because it might be the case that there are multiple test cases we can ignore this also but this is a good practice so i'm doing it. then what we would do is for in i is equals to zero i is less than edges dot size itself and then we would increment the answer i plus plus okay then what we would do is g of edges of i and then zero okay and then from zero till the next point that is one so push back okay the next value then simple way we form this okay and then we would have edges of i and then one itself okay we had this next we would do the dfs from source to the destination itself and then we would simply return the answer now let us just compile and run now let us compile the solution and yes it is working fine for the sample test case now let us submit this and see if we can get an ac or not and yes we got an ac 